We back with Radiant Red issue two. So she walks into that warehouse and she's like, hello? She gets to this door and she sees her stairs right there. She goes up in there and she goes up the stairs. Tried to open this door, but it was locked. So she kept going up the stairs until she found this door that was open. She goes up in there and there's nobody still in there. She's like, hello, I'm looking for. Her. That's when this light came on, right? And she was like, oh shit. As they just dropped magma on her ass. She get out that shit cool, like way too close. That's when these dudes came through talking about some pr uh, pretty impressive trick lady, but a little advice. Stay on your toes when you go walking in the dark buildings at night. Nice mustache, very intimidating, but I'm looking for the guy with the hair. You got other problems to worry about, bigger ones, namely me. Now let's see what you got as he tried to swing at her ass. She dodged that shit. Psh, cracked the shit out of his ass. That's when this dude with this hammer came to him. Ah! She grabs that shit. Then another dude came with this big ass wrench. She transmute the damn hammer and she get hit with the damn wrench. She make her hand big as fuck from that hammer to some stop wasting my time. Psh, crack all three of they ass. The big dude get up and try to lunge at her. Psh, smack this shit. Psh, ugh, he falls over. So now they all knock the fuck out. That's when somebody behind her was like, poor Danny, now he owes me $20 as he clapping. His shift, he was like, glad you made it, Red. She's like, who's Danny, the guy who bleaches your hair? He's like, nah, that's Cristobal. Danny's the Hulkling gentleman who connected with your fist several times. It is swore he'd last at least 10 minutes against you. Wonder if his wallet is floating around here somewhere. You having fun yet? I'm not here to play games with some lowlife who's in love with his own voice. I'm here to end this. Keep your job offer and stay away from my family, GQ. Now that hurts my feelings. I wish we could talk and make it all better. But unfortunately, it's not going to work out that way as he pressed this thing on his arm and he turns it to shift. He's like, what do you think of my gear? Personally, I think it's better than yours. Guess we'll have to find out. She says, Jesus, you're exhausting. He's like, ready as they booted up. She tried to punch his ass, but she went straight through him and hit the wall behind him. She's like, did you just phase through? He crack her ass. She's like, ugh. Then he kick her ass. Then he jump in the air and was about to stab her with a sword. She smacked the fuck out of his ass with the back of her hand. He go flying. Then she jump on. She jump up and was about to hit his ass. She kicked the fuck out of her ass. She go into this wall. He said, you got a couple good ones in there, Red. Too bad. She was like, stop. And she reached her hand out and shoot out fire. His ass phased through that shit. She was like, that's new. And she was looking at her hand steaming. Then the lights came on. And you heard somebody say, well, I've seen enough. Impressive performance. And she reached and tried to give her hand out. Red smacked that shit. So you're in charge, huh? Happy with the song and dance. Your ninja ripoff tried to tear off my life like it's some fun little show for you. I should have squeezed your... How else could we have gotten you here? How else could you have shown up? You and your goons, you mean nothing to me. So lay off because whatever it is you're threatening me with, I'll return tenfold as her ass grew bigger and was glowing with red ass energy with a smile and these motherfuckers put the gun to her face. I know this wasn't the best introduction, an unfortunate necessity. I wanted to talk some business with you, get to know each other. I'm Margo. I'm not interested. I know a lot about you already actually wanted to see a little more for myself but you've come up hard to miss the big shows you put on at those banks not to mention lockport chicago this other city was very interesting i like your initiative listen i don't want this not anymore and if i did why would i get involved with you i don't need things to get messy where are you keeping that money the 2.5 million you sold stashed in the attic she looked at her ass Ha, huh, i'm warm ain't i already no Listen, you never had any options with that cash. A school teacher and a gambling addict wouldn't have a clue on how to move lifts like that. You're in over your head. But here's the deal. All the jobs that matter around here, I'm the bank. You work with us and we'll exchange your money for fresh bills, one to one. Her eyes is looking, thinking about that shit hard. Listen, Satomi, forget the stupid shit that Chef said about your family, about going public. Forget all that. This is about you. You're very good at this, unique, but you're in a tough position right now. And to let this slip out of your fingers would be a wasted opportunity. You work with us, you save your house and your relationship. You won't have to worry about your job, about anyone finding out. You'll have protection. You're a shark, but right now you're alone. We'd have your back. And I would never say this in front of the others, but you knew tonight was a test. You might be able to fool most people, your family, but not us, not people who do this for a living. You were playing with the others. You like this. And why wouldn't you? So who do you want to be? I'm not doing this long term. I can't. Coming and going won't work. Not in the long run. I'm telling you that now. 
That's how it has to be. Fine, one job, if that's the way it has to be. Think about it, but I won't give you very long. What's the job? Only when you're all in. What's the job? So she reach into her jacket and pull out this thing. This is Mercury S, extremely valuable, extremely toxic. That's where you come in. Click on the playlist at the bottom to catch up with this massive verse shit and the next issue gonna be next.